Hey Taurus, welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be a general energy reading for you. Okay, we'll see what you need to know at this time. What's happening in your energy this week, today or this coming week. Now this can be past, present or future. Okay, you'll know where this fits in your story. And you can be a cross watcher as well. Okay, so just take what resonates and if it doesn't, maybe check out a different placement. Okay. Let's see, guys, what's happening here with Taurus? Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so someone here has made a stupid plan. This is a stupid plan. This strategy is not going to work. Um, somebody didn't strategize something very well, okay? Hank, man, somebody could be trying to cut themselves loose from something, okay? They're trying to get out of something or they could feel stuck and they're trying to get away. They're trying to get away with something here. What a stupid strategy. That's not going to work. Wait, I just saw one that's upside down here. Let's see. What is this stupid strategy that's not going to work? What is this stupid strategy that's not going to work? <laughs> They always got a lot, right? They got a lot of strategies, these people. So let's see. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords. Yeah, these people are absolutely like they're delusional, okay? Like it's bordering on insanity at this point. It probably is insanity here. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, this person is not seen clearly. They're not, they don't know what they're doing, okay? They're like walking blind in the dark. And they're not realizing that they're not getting out of something. There's no way that they're getting out of this, okay? They can try all of their weird snake moves here, but they're not getting out of this. Nice try, though. They're trying to move forward with something here. What's the Hank man? They're like, I swear to God, Seven of Pentacles, uh, Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're trying to steal something. And then do something really backstabbing, conniving, and deceptive with it here. Page of Pentacles. Something tangible. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, here's their strategy, right? Here's their strategy. Here's their stupid little strategy, okay? Let's see. What's the Six of Swords? Eight of Pentacles. They're, this is their plan. Their master plan here. With messages. Oh, so they're, so, yeah, messages. Here they go again, right? I thought I saw the last of these stupid readings, but I'm sorry, guys. So here comes the little spies again, the little stalkers, the little hackers and the little stalkers working on some sort of a plan here, trying to get out of something here by spying on someone. Five of Wands reverse. They think this is going to solve their problems. They think they can resolve a conflict this way. Okay. Okay, so tell me more about Knight of Pentacles reverse here. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, they just, they can't, they can't give up. You want to know why? It's because they've already put so much work into it. They've invested into it. Um, it's like life or death, or it's like life in freedom or life in prison for them at this point. That's why they don't stop, okay? Because if they don't stop, they know they're going to prison. I mean, they're going to prison either way. They are. They're just turning in more and more evidence, apparently okay that's gonna put the final nails in the coffin for them so let's see nine of pentacles reverse despair in reverse they're trying to get out of their head they're trying to get out of some sort of anxiety uh, okay tell me about this delusional person here two of swords they think that they think that the justice system isn't going to see this clearly okay they think that the justice system is stupid. They think that the people working in law are idiots and they're not going to see this clearly here, what they're doing. So this is a psychopath with a huge ego, okay? This is a classic psychopath that thinks that they are smarter than everyone else and that they are a mastermind and nobody's ever going to figure them out, okay? <laughs> I can't even make it up. I can't even make it up. And that's the truth, okay? So this person doesn't have clarity, okay? This psychopath with a huge ego, they don't have clarity. But apparently I do, okay, when it comes to this person. So they're a psychopath. They think that they're above any, everybody else. They think that they can outsmart anyone, including the justice system. 
temperance, but they're not outsmarting the divine. They're not going to outsmart God. They're not going to outsmart, uh, outsmart the divine. They're not going to outsmart the angels that are seeing and watching every single thing that they're doing. Okay. So what do they think that nobody's going to know, huh? Queen of Swords. Something about a Queen of Swords. Okay. Queen of Swords and Justice could have something to do with Libra. What's this Two of Swords here? A golden narcissist in reverse, okay? Honestly, this is this is just a psychopath that thinks that they can outsmart everyone, okay? They think nobody can see them. Nobody's going to know. Nobody's going to realize what they're doing. It's like courtship in reverse when it comes to a breakup. So they think that they can create some sort of a blockage here, obstruction of justice with a breakup, okay? Saying something about a breakup or a relationship falling apart. What's the six of swords reverse? They're not gonna get out of these messages. If they use these messages, which I'm pretty sure they already did because they're stupid, okay? They're not gonna get out of this now. They just trapped themselves with these messages. The magician because of what they're trying to create here this is an illusion that they're trying to create tell me more about these messages please yeah be lighthearted finding out things are coming to light yeah everybody's going to know the truth about these messages and what they've been doing here Stalking someone, hacking someone, watching someone, spying on someone, using messages to then turn it in to the justice system. And they think everybody's stupid, right? So what are they not going to get out of here? Six of Swords reverse. Journey. Okay. They think that they're going to be able to move forward, but they're not. Okay. They're not. They think this is how they can move forward. Chariot. With some sort of unexpected income in reverse. When it comes to someone not receiving some sort of money or some someone not receiving money. The hanged man and the king of pentacles. So this is how they plan on moving forward with the king of pentacles, okay? Or some sort of messages with the king of pentacles. And why someone didn't receive money or why somebody didn't give something to someone or, um, yeah, this is how they're trying to cut themselves loose. Okay. It has something to do with messages and a king of pentacles. Tell me about this Hank man here. An official person. They think that they can cut themselves loose here with an official person now. But this person is not focusing on themselves. They're not doing their shadow work. They're not um, focusing on themselves or something about someone not feeling appreciated or somebody not having self-worth, okay? What's unexpected income in reverse? Talking in reverse. Yeah, where'd you get these messages, huh? Where did you get these text messages from that you're turning into the justice system? I'm pretty sure that collective didn't give them to you. Okay, so where'd you get them from? What is this, huh? So they're trying to move forward with some sort of messages that they're not even supposed to have because they weren't given to someone here. Or who's this king of pentacles? Or is the king of pentacles trying to cut themselves loose? A wealthy man. Or it's a king of pentacles official person that's trying to cut themselves loose from something here with some sort of messages. Or it has something to do with a wealthy man or somebody giving something to someone or somebody somebody's money or something like that. Okay, so what's the hang man? Six of pentacles. It has something to do with giving someone money. Some sort of equal give and take, giving someone money. They're trying to move forward on this with somebody not giving someone money with hacked messages. 
with being a fucking spy, being a fucking hacker, okay? And it has something to do with equal give and take or somebody giving someone money or somebody not giving something to someone. The world. Something online. Knight of Cups in reverse. A rejected offer. Somebody rejecting someone's offer. What's the Knight of Cups reverse? Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. Okay, so this is about an ending. It's about somebody rejecting a love offer. And this is how they're trying to cut themselves loose, the hate man. Saying something about someone healing from heartbreak or freedom from a toxic relationship. Claiming that someone has cut themselves loose from a toxic relationship and has ended something because of something to do with money. What's the, what's the hermit? A main male, okay? So a main male who's a stalker or a spy or a hacker. Somebody watching someone here on the internet. Okay, what's the seven of swords? Messages. I can't even make it up. A message of concern. Yeah, so messages. So some sort of messages between you and someone, okay? Where these people saw these messages and they're like, oh my God, these are perfect. Let's use these, right? Like they always do. Fucking weirdos. Message at the bottom of the deck. Okay, what's the point? What's the point of them stealing these messages? It's a bright new idea. They have a new plan forward. It's a new day. Nine of Cups to get what they want. They think they're going to get what they want with this. With lies. Look at this. With lies. So a King of Swords in reverse, a liar, a pathological, psychopathic liar, thinks that they're going to get what they want now by using some sort of hacked and stolen messages. Okay. What's the Six of Swords? Five of Swords. This is how they think that they're going to get away with it, with this deception. Four of Swords. This is how they think they can lay something to rest. What's the Eight of Pentacles? The Knight of Wands. Claiming that someone has lovers for work or sleeps around for work. Get the fuck out of here. That's the master plan? That's the master plan. Okay, got it. So they're going to twist these messages around the sun. Oh, illuminated. That's the truth. Okay, so here's the thing. You have some sort of, um, you have messages with your partner, significant other, or someone that you're close to where you're having a conversation, a fight, okay? Just between you and your person, confirmation. These hackers, spires, stalkers, obsessive predators, okay, are now stealing these messages and flipping them around and claiming that it has something to do with someone's work and someone sleeping around for work or having one night stands or something like that. Fucking stupid. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, romance is blooming. Fun flirting wants to date. Oh, so ridiculous. Okay. What's the Page of Swords? Date. Messages claiming that someone is dating someone, meeting someone new. That's a stretch, huh? That's just a little bit of a stretch, right? Five of Wands reverse. They don't want something to change. They're trying to avoid change. They're trying to avoid something here from transforming some sort of upheaval in their life, but it doesn't matter. The truth is gonna come out anyways. What's the five of wands reverse? Ace of cups with some sort of a love offer or a new relationship, ace of coins, something to do with an offer or some sort of a blessing or a gift or something like that. What is this? Ace of coins. The runner, yeah, somebody, it has to do with somebody breaking up with someone or or saying that the relationship is over because someone is non-committal and has a fear of intimacy, okay? This is basically a spinoff off Virgo. You might have something to do with a Virgo. You might be a Virgo, um, Virgo somewhere in someone's charts, okay? You had a fight with someone because they are non-committal. They don't want to commit. They refuse to commit because they have a fear of intimacy and a fear of commitment, okay? These messages are now being manipulated. They're being manipulated. This is confirmation. This is manipulation. 
This is, um, this, they're distorting the truth. They're flipping and turning it however it fits their narrative, okay? And they're running with it. They have some new messages of a fight, and they're running with it, okay? What else does Taurus need to know? The Hermit. They're stalkers. They're still spying. They're still stalking. They're still hacking. They're still watching because they're creeps, and they're obsessed with you and your life. And... Now they're, they have a brand new idea here, okay? What's the Nine of Swords? But they have a brand new idea here to get what they want and win at all costs. With a relationship. Lying about a relationship. Lying about messages. Lying about the content of the, of the messages. The star could be dealing with an Aquarius here, okay? And someone being defensive or somebody standing up for themselves and saying and speaking their truth, okay? When it comes to healing something or some sort of wish fulfillment. An, an offer, a love offer, okay? Page of Cups. Some sort of messages. This is how they think that they're going to get themselves out of a bind. This is how they think they're going to get out of a trap here, but they're doing something very impulsively, okay, and very stupidly. This King of Wands is impulsive and stupid, and he has a big ego, and he's a psychopath. Eight of Wands with these messages. He's overestimating himself right now with this Queen of Wands. Oh, he sent the messages to the Queen of Wands. Why? Why the fuck is the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands receiving messages between you and your partner, huh? That's weird. Or did he forward them to her? Why? What, what do these two people have to do with your relationship, huh? Lying, cheating, stealing, scamming, frauding, hacking, spying, gang stalking. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is how they think they can get themselves out of a hard time. The Wheel of Fortune is here though, okay? It has to do with a relationship. Your relationship that they keep. Um, this is invasion of privacy on a whole nother level. This is invasion of privacy. And they are committing crimes, federal crimes, okay? Trying to create an illusion here, but it's going to backfire on them. Tower, it's going to backfire so bad. This illusion is about to backfire on them so bad. It's going to be the final nail in the coffin for them. Judgment, because they're under judgment. And look, Seven of Pentacles in reverse, it's a failure. It's going to be a failure, just like everything else, okay? Because they're under judgment. And the Divine already saw them do all of this. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. These messages, your messages, where did they get these messages, huh? If they're not hacking, spying, and stalking someone. The messages, Page of Swords, this is about the messages. So where are they planning, where are they planning on taking these messages? The world, where are they planning on taking these messages? Who are they, bring, who are they bringing these messages to? The devil. Who are they planning on bringing these messages to? The fool and strength to a Leo. We have Leo, we have Capricorn. Who are they going to bring these messages to? Someone's going to see through the illusion, though, about this plan, about some what they're working on here. With this gift here. I want to know, though, who are they bringing them to? Is it, a, is it police? Is it a judge? Who are they planning on bringing these messages to? A mature woman, a marriage, a mature woman and a marriage because somebody, because, but they're not going to get what they think that they're going to get, or they're not going to get what they're expecting here when it comes to a mature woman and a marriage or somebody that someone is married to. Yeah, because they're thieves. These are thieves and these messages are stolen, hacked and stolen. Yeah, when it comes to the lovers. And something about money, yo. Whatever this is with money, no fucking idea, okay? But something with lovers. 
Like, I don't know. I just got to put it out there. I don't know what they're doing with lovers or money or something with um, messages about someone hooking up for money. Those are fake. Those messages are fake. I don't know what the fuck they did with that. But some sort of messages between you and your partner having a fight because someone is non-committal and they don't want to commit and they have an issue with commitment, those are hacked and stolen. But they feel like this is their window of opportunity, okay? So you having a fight with your partner is a window of opportunity for them to come in with this bullshit. They're like, oh, look, they're fighting. Oh, look, they're fighting. Let's come in with this bullshit again, okay? Occupation. Yeah, it's just a it's just a window of opportunity for them on this pathway. That's what this is to them. It's a window of opportunity. That's why they keep stalking, spying, watching, and hacking. Because they're just waiting for that one fight that you and your partner have to come in. Come in with this bullshit so that they can create an illusion, okay? With messages. And blow it up and make some weird fucking shit with it, okay? Forward the messages to whoever, not even involved. And make a whole new storyline off of just the messages between you and your partner, okay? It's so weird. These people are creepy and weird. Chariot and the Nine of Wands. What's this? Because the, the, they don't want to stop. This Queen of Wands does not want to stop. She just doesn't want to give up and stop. She's fucking psycho. They're all psychos. They are absolute psychos. Nine of Cups in reverse will feel unfulfilled, unhappy. I'm trying to close out a cycle here when it comes to someone's work. Yeah, this little hacker here, this little trafficker, right? This little prostitute. This one. So the little Queen of Wands prostitute is trying to close out a cycle with someone's job here. And that's why they're jumping on this window of opportunity. Could be an Aquarius. Hermit in reverse, okay? That doesn't want to be investigated because she's a little prostitute hacker. When it comes to some sort of an authorities or the judge or the police or something like that, she's trying to get out of it. So a little prostitute is trying to figure out someone else to blame. And now that you and your partner have issues, they're like, oh my God, this is perfect. Let's jump on this opportunity here. Nine of swords. Let's use this opportunity to go back to the police and lie some more, right? About somebody planning something at someone's home. Get the fuck out of here. It's about to backfire on them. Because they're liars. Because they stole something. Because they're deceptive, backstabbing, conniving liars. Who just don't quit. Five of Cups. And they're going to be crying really soon. They're going to be crying in that jail cell really soon. Soon enough, they're going to be crying. They're not going to be able to change this, end this. Or they're trying to avoid an ending. It's just an inevitable ending at this point. Yeah. And they're going to try and say something about a love offer with a King of Cups. Same shit, different day, honestly. Same shit, different day. Queen of Swords, love. Yeah, my phone battery died. But what I was saying is it's just same shit, different day, okay? And they're bringing this to the Emperor. So Emperor, just so you know, in case you get some weird fucking messages out of nowhere, this is why. This is why. Oh, I just said it too, messages. They're going back to the Emperor saying, here, Emperor, we have some more messages for you. This is why. This is where they came from, Empress. This is the new storyline, the moon. They think that they're doing this in secret, okay? <sighs> Trying to cause a secret burden, but now they're exposed, okay? So, who's involved in this here for Taurus? A Leo, October. A Libra. July, a Gemini, oh, that's where they're taking the messages, huh, to the Gemini, Capricorn, a Sagittarius, and January, <laughs> that's not even supposed to be in there, but I guess that's the last card, okay, you're protected by angels, don't even worry about it. August. All right, I'm going to leave that that guys, okay? Um don't even worry about it. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. They keep trying, it's not going to work though. Okay? Um 
Yeah. I'll just leave it at that, guys. Okay. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.